Hello and welcome to this iOS 7 programming tutorial. Today I got a very interesting topic to cover. It's auto layout. Well, first of all, what is that? When it comes to designing the user interface for your app, it's very important to get the layout right. If you do not, objects are gonna be all over the screen and they won't be positioned where they should whenever you rotate your app and when you change from an iPhone 4 screen to an iPhone 5. Before iOS 6, this process involved using something called auto sizing, which consisted in using springs and struts to define how our objects would be resized when the size of the screen changed or the orientation. And this usually took a lot of code and it was very tedious. Now, iOS 6 introduced Auto Layout, which was further developed in iOS 7, and we will focus the next couple tutorials on understanding how to use Auto Layout to use to make your apps look amazing in every screen and every orientation. Now we are going to learn how to use Auto Layout through the Interface Builder. So open Xcode and create a new project. We're gonna call it Auto Layout. In order to enable Auto Layout in our app, you're gonna have to go to the File Inspector panel. Remember that's here. You're gonna check if Auto Layout is enabled. It's enabled by default, however, it's usually good to know that it's there. Now, the fact that auto layout is enabled doesn't mean that our problems are already solved. To demonstrate this, let's go ahead and add a text field to our window, to our view. So go ahead, drag it, let's put it here. And let's try and switch the orientation, see what happens. Click on the view controller button here, attribute inspector, and here you can change the orientation and the size of the screen. Just change the size, it's gone. What happens if we change the orientation to landscape? It's gone again. This is because the text field has an absolute value of x and an absolute value of y where it will be located and that value might not be in every screen size or in every orientation. So select the text field and we are going to go to something called the pin menu which is here. What we want to achieve is that we want to keep the text field at the same distance from the bottom of the screen at all times. So go to space into nearest neighbor and click here add constraint and that's gonna achieve that. However this doesn't fix our problem completely so go ahead to landscape orientation and you see that the text field is on the screen now but however it's not centered. So in order to achieve that first of all you wanna go to alignment menu here and you're gonna add horizontal center in container add constraint. Notice this gigantic blue line. So let's try it again. Oops, it doesn't work. Why is that? Well, if you go back to portrait orientation, you see how there's an orange line here? That's because for some objects we have to actually define what's the width gonna be like when the orientation or size changes. So press Ctrl, click and drag to the object itself and you're gonna select width. Notice how all that orange vanished and we are left with blue. Let's try one more time. As you can see now it works. So go back to portrait and we're gonna add another a label. Go and find it. We're gonna put it in this corner here. Let's put something on it. Uh, this is great. 
of course. Now, AutoDL has this feature that sometimes you can just set up the constraints by itself, and most of the times this will work. However, sometimes you have to do what we did here and fix it manually. In order to try to fix it automatically and let Xcode do it for us, you're gonna go here, resolve auto layout issues, click on it. Oh, well, you have to have this selected, sorry. Click on it and reset the suggested constraints in auto layout view controller. Notice these two new constraints here. Let's go ahead and test this. It works perfectly. Now, in order to finish this tutorial, we're gonna go ahead and this time we're gonna add a segmented control. We're gonna want it in the center of the screen. Sometimes you don't want objects to be aligned with the screen, you want them to be aligned with, with themselves, with other objects. So, how we're going to do this is we're gonna control click on the segmented view controller and drag to the text field. We're going to select center X, so their X's are going to match at all times. We also want to align it horizontally, so control drag to the right or left. Center vertically. There we go. Now let's try this. Whoops. You see what happened here? Everything just moved to the left. Well. Xcode has this feature in order to solve these issues that when you click on the object, see how there's an orange bo box in here? Same here. That's Xcode telling us where it thinks the object should go. So in order to do that, you're gonna go here again to the resolve auto layout issues and you're gonna say update frames. Pump. Do it again for this one. Now, if we switch orientation, it's perfectly fine at all times, even if we change the size. That's everything I wanted to do for this tutorial. So, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and see you next time.